So let's say you wake up in the morning, get in your car, you drive to the countryside on a five hour long journey to the other side of town. And in that town, you supposedly meet somebody really, really special. So you supposedly meet somebody who appears to be your twin flame. The meeting kind of clicks and uh, you just realize that you cannot live without each other. So when you come back to your city, you call your job place, you call in sick, you drive again, you go back to the countryside. So the meetings begin, you start meeting your twin flame, you start knowing each other and you start having some sort of a harmonious connection together. And uh, then after a few weeks or a few months, because you just can't stay away from each other, you come back to your hometown, sell your property, give back the house to whatever the councils or what, pack your bags and drive and go back to, to live, to unite with the tree from to start living together. Um, everything goes well, you enjoy each other's company, you, you're living some kind of a harmonious relationship, you're happy together, you enjoy each other's company. So, after a few weeks um, of months, or what depends, sometimes uh, every, every twin flame relationship depends, they are not always the same. So after a few months, you just get up in the morning and you turn around and your partner is gone. So you just woke up in the morning, all of a sudden, after a few months, being together, happy together, you just turn around, only to find that your, your, your so-called happiness, your partner is gone. Or maybe you go to work, you come back from work, you just to enter the house and you find an empty house he has left. And you're buffered. You don't know what exactly is going on. You don't know what has happened. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to think. You don't know where to start. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to call. You call their numbers. They are off. They have switched off all their numbers. They have closed their communication. And you just don't know what to do with yourself. You just don't know what is going on. You're completely buffered and you're completely, completely disappointed and really, really broken. Now, um, in that kind of scenario, if it's happened to you, whereby you think you've been with your twin flame, you meet you meet your twin flames, and you've been them for some months or maybe some couple of years, or maybe one year or two years, but you really know these are your twin flames, these are your perfect mirrors. I've already done a video about twin flames, so you guys will, will know what I'm talking about. And then you just woke up one morning and it's gone. He or she is gone, you know, for, for no reason. You've been living together for some time and you just woke up in the morning and they're gone. And you just know what to do. you just don't know what to do with yourself. Um, the only explanation I can give to that is that you're going through what they call a twin flame separation. And I'm going to give to you five signs why always twin flames tend to separate. It's very painful. I know it's very painful. Um, because twin flames, unlike any other relationships, they like uh, they are people who just like wake up in the morning and they are gone, and you can never explain exactly. You can never have a very clear explanation what has happened and what is going on. So definitely, you're going through a twin flame separation. Um, and the very first thing what happens usually before the twin flames leave or before you separate with the twin flame. It happens that usually during the meetings, when you two guys, when the two of you meet together, the both of you are not ready for each other. It's the very, very first cause of the separation. The, the both of you are not ready together, but because this is a very strong divine connection, you just get attracted together and the chemistry is just too intense and you just can't stay away or you, get, you just can't hold it. You just can't hold yourself together. So you just have to you have the situation whereby you connect with your twin flames, but in the wrong time. So the two of you are not ready to be together. You're just not ready for each other because twin flame relationships, they have a lot of uh, these other things attached to them. 
whereby sometimes people they meet their twin flames and at the end of the day they just woke up and they're gone so the very first cause of the separation is that you're not ready to, you're not ready to be together why are you not ready to be together because uh most likely and most certainly and most usually actually twin flames you have all grown up in different places you've grown up in different places maybe they have grown up in the u.s maybe somebody's grown up lived all their life in new zealand maybe you've been you, you know you may be in the same country but you maybe li have lived in different parts of the country so you so you're all grown up in different places you have different cultures you have different places you grew up in different places so there are so so many things um you just you just can't relate you just can't relate together so there are so many differences culture you know culture differences you know you believe in other things they believe in other things sometimes you do other things they do other things so the two of you happen not to be ready to come into what they call a full union of a twin flame so for the very very first thing you're going to realize that you're going to be struggling in the beginning of the relationship so you're going to struggle a lot because um you're both trying to compromise and um you're both trying to compromise to accept each other but sometimes it's very intense because twin flames they are very very intense relationships you know sometimes you don't know what to do with yourself so you're trying to compromise with them but it's very difficult because most likely the two of you you've lived in different parts of the world different parts of the countryside or you've not lived together so you have different cultures you've grown up with different families so you believe in different things so most likely the twin flames live because they can't handle this situation and they don't they don't know what to do with you they love you so much they are very much into you they cannot stand this heat you know the heat is intensive and they cannot stand the heat but just because that you have different ways of doing things you have grown up differently you've grown up with a different culture you've grown up with a different tradition you know beliefs you know so definitely there's a possibility you cannot be together so that's the very first reason why the twin flames tend to run and in most of the cases is the man is the men who actually run from these relationships so i explained to you what they call the runners and the chasers so the women are the ones like chasing the men run and the women chase so but anyhow you just have to understand that that's the very first reason why twin flames tend to separate so second reason you can find that um by the time you meet your twin flames because the last video i made about a twin flame i told you whereby i given i give you a scenario where where you in the city and you meet somebody who you think you've seen before in most of the cases twin flames meet when either both or one of them is already in a relationship so you're already in a serious devoted relationship committed relationship you know sometimes sometimes even some of them actually married so you can sometimes find that twin flames in the beginning they meet in that situation whereby one of them is married and uh much as you guys connect together you really really deeply feel very intensive with each other sometimes even there have been cases of infidelity whereby somebody has met their twin flames and they are in a relationship and ended up like you know somewhere somehow creating what they call a third party situation whereby they have they have, have to go and they had to go and uh physically meet and you know have some kind of contact you know some kind of uh, uh, sexual contact with the twin flames because it's a very intensive uh, connection and you just can't you know you just can't run away from it so most of the times you cannot have a full union because you're both or one of you one or both of you is already in a marriage or some kind of a civil partnership it's also another case why you find that you just can't you know you, you just have to separate however much you try to force it you know you're already in it in a relationship you're already married so you just have to separate and you know everybody moves their way so uh, goes their ways so another third situation i can talk about is the the ego now the ego is that uh, sense of i you know the sense of i i am this i this i that i this you know so it's the sense of i whereby and usually most of the cases twin flames one of the two and usually is the women i don't know for what reason but many cases i've, I've seen 
with twin flame relationships is the women have got a very big ego. Everyone has got an ego, but uh, it, it it so happens like that that in a twin flame in, in a twin flame relationship, the women tend to have a very big ego. So because of ego, you can you can find that. Uh, you cannot relate in so many things because you know you, you're disagreeing you know you just disagree with everything sometimes you know the the guy or the you know the partner may try to tell somebody you know this is not good don't do it like this that is not good don't do it like that but you know there's that part of the ego is very high up there somewhere and uh for some reason you just can't you know you mean i mean you're going to still try because you guys you know you guys are twin flames and uh, you, you're always going to struggle to try to make the relationship work but uh there is that problem whereby you know there's a very big ego between the two of you. Very big difference in your egos. And somebody has got a very big ego up there and somebody has got a, you know, a low or regulated ego. So whereby in so many things and so many cases, you're not going to be able to... to one way or the other relate in so many things and to connect in so many ways whereby you cannot bypass your partner's ego so it's also a third case whereby the twin flames tend to separate especially after a very short period of time sometimes they don't like in the beginning separate straight away they can spend some couple of weeks or months or what but there has got to be a separation because the twin flame i told you guys that a twin flame relationship is a divine connection it's two people who have already known each other in the past life so they're just like trying to come back together but at the time when they meet and they come back together some of the time and most usually they're not ready to be together in that moment so whereby they have got to do some kind of what, what they call a separation whereby the two of them go their ways and go and work on themselves because the twin relationship you're supposed to go and work when you finish meeting for the first time you mirror each other so the man will see those find those parts of the woman that they're trying to hide from the world and the woman also will see those parts of the man that they're trying to hide away they are trying to run away and they're trying to hide from the world so they will expose each other's masks because they mirror each other so they expose each other's mask you know so they try to take off that mask and sometimes when they when they're when they're when they're taking off that mask it exposes their ego the ego that part of them that they are trying to run from, you know what I mean? So it happens like that, that there's a lot of that intensity and friction between them in the beginning. And it causes uh, a sort of a separation. So sometimes they have got to separate because once they identify those two things that are actually standing in their way, they have got to create something what they call a separation so that they will all grow, they will all retract from this relationship and go back and work on each other. And then after come back, in something what they call a twin flame reunion i will make a video about the twin flame reunion at some point what happens during the reunion what happens during the separation when they have separated what do they do and then what happens for them to be able to come back together some of them never come back together because it doesn't always mean that when you meet your twin flame you're supposed to stay with them for the rest of your life some of sometimes the twin flames they come into your lives our lives to help us bring out make us our better versions to bring out that spiritual part of us so and then they may stay with you for some time and they will leave so some of them may tend to carry on with their life and the man may carry on the woman may carry on but there are some of the twin flames who have gone back and worked on themselves and been able to come back together in a reunion another fourth thing i can talk about why twin flames tend to separate is that during the initial contact or initial stages of the first stages of contact with the twin flame it's happened it so happens that uh usually twin flames they have just come out of a karmic relationship so they've just been in a toxic relationship and they have just uh, you know been with somebody who has really, really treated them very bad so because i told you guys in my videos that twin flames tend to meet usually they, usually they tend to meet each other after going through what they call a toxic relationship. So sometimes when most of the times people go through toxic relationships, they learn their lessons, they learn so many things. So when they are able to retract 
or to get away from those toxic relationships. That's when at some point they meet their, they meet their twin flames. So the reason of and the causes of some of the causes of the separation is that you've just met your twin flame after they have been in a very difficult, sometimes very difficult and sometimes very dangerous. And in most cases, actually very toxic relationships. And uh, they are going through something what they call healing. So they are healing. They're really healing. They're trying to heal and uh, get their life back together. But at some point in time, because they have already met you and they don't know what to do with themselves, you find them that they cannot really settle down and uh, concentrate on this relationship because they are still healing from the old wounds they have been having in a toxic relationship before. So you, you also find that you cannot, uh, at that moment, make a full reunion with them. So it's one of the causes also that causes, uh, that brings about a twin flame separation. The fifth point I can talk about is um, sometime when you meet a twin flame, some of the twin flames, you find them, I've, I've made a video about uh, spiritual awakening. And uh, it so happens that one of the twin flames is very highly awake than the other one. So, for some reason, the divine, the universe tries to bring these people together so that they can activate one of them can activate the other one, you know, one of them can boost the other one in their awakening journey. So it's like when they come together, one of the twins, one of the twins in that relationship will activate, they will point out those few areas in the others, in the partner's lives, they need to become their better versions, they need to work on themselves to live their life purpose, to become their better version. So one of the other ones tends to like boost them, to boost their awakening process. And in most cases, some of, some of the times they don't have to stay because when they meet you and they shed some light on those areas of your life that you need to work on so that you, you can become your better versions, they will stay in your life for some time, help you to discover those areas of your life that you need to work on to so that you can live your best life and become your better version. And then you can find that also after doing that, they will still live. So most of the times, twin flames, they don't tend to, some of them don't tend to stay together. Some of them come into each other's lives, point out one or two things, one or two or three things that uh, the other twin may have to work on, you know, and then they still disappear and they, they go. And sometimes the twin flame is very funny because sometimes they don't they don't give a warning when they're leaving. So they just wake up and they are gone. You know, they just cancel their for calls and you know they delete all their contacts and what from social social media accounts and you know they just disappear all of a sudden. And some people have been left baffled. You know, they've been with the twin flame yesterday, and all of a sudden tomorrow, or the next day, the twin flames are gone, and they just don't know what to do with themselves. So it's very very strange. It's a very beautiful relationship. You know, it's very harmonious. You know. When you meet a twin flame, you will be having a very, very the experience of your life. You know, you will be having one of the most wonderful experiences of your life. Some of them have been able to go separate and uh, uh, work on themselves and come back together, but some of them haven't. You know, some of them have just continued with their lives and met maybe their soulmates. You know, and carried on with their lives. Because it's not always that when you meet a twin flame, they always stay together. Sometimes you can stay together for some time, but there happens a situation where, but some of you, they just carry on with their lives, and you know, they, they just uh, improve on each uh, the others, uh, you know, life lives and uh, improve on their quality of their lives, and then they just carry on with their life. So, guys, those are what the five points I've given. That sometimes it cause uh, something what they call a twin flame separation. It's been a really beautiful morning, guys. I'm so excited to talk about this. I'm also going to talk about a twin flame reunion next time we talk or next time I come here online. I'm going to talk about something what they call a twin flame reunion. So during the separation, what happens? What are they going through? And then what happens? And then when they come back to the reunion, how do they reunite? And what go? You know, where do they go from there? And that being said, guys, beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Uh, it's, it's been a really, really good pleasure to talk with you guys. I really love you all, guys. A blessed, blessed week. Stay well. Stay safe. Love you all.